If you put your creatine in a large Starbucks that has 400 milligrams of caffeine and you're sipping on that for hours, there is a potential for degradation of creatine to creatinine and it may not be as effective. It might be 90% as effective, but it may not be 100%. If you're not noticing anti-blunted effects, you're like, hey, I've been doing this for six months and I don't notice any benefit. You're either a non-responder or there's a potential of an interference effect. The best cellular evidence out of Europe shows that, yes, there is a potential interference at high-dose caffeine. Okay, so we can just move it from the coffee if we're concerned about it or you're not seeing some of the benefits that we've been outlining today into your pre-workout or you're sipping it while you're working out or in the evening with your, maybe not with your tea, you can just move it into just like water, good old plain water. <laughs> Absolutely. But I think if if your consistency is, hey, instead of putting sugar in your coffee, I put my creatine, yeah. I'm all for it because you're probably getting the benefits. 